Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing great today. Today I'm going to show you how to build bunk beds in The Sims 4, which is something that I'm so excited for. It's something that we can do now that we have the new updated platforms in the game. So make sure that your game is updated and let's get started. So when we build a room here, we can suddenly see these platforms appear as options down in our menu. We can place these inside rooms. It does delete the walls, but we can just put the walls back in. We don't have to worry too much about that. And we can use uh, these arrows to move the platforms up and down. We don't want to use uh, this arrow that we're used to because that's going to lower the whole or lower or higher the whole room. So make sure that you use these arrows that we have here. And to show you how to build our fantastic bunk beds, I'm so excited for them. I've been trying to do them for so long and the first thing that I thought of when I heard we're getting platforms is, can I finally build bunk beds? <laughs> okay, so now that we have a little bit of light, let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. So choose two beds. It could, for example, be these ones. They're pretty, pretty standard. They're also base game. And place one down here. And the second one, you wanna just uh, press Control, Shift and C to bring up uh, this bar here and type in bb.moveobjects uh, objects on. That way, uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna be able to place uh, the furniture places that we couldn't before. And also you should know that you should hold, hold in Alt, the Alt key, to move furniture around freely instead of being stuck to the grid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Alt key to be able to place the bed kind of outside of the platform. So it looks like this. So it's looking pretty crazy. But the thing is, if we place a ladder now, Let's go in and put this ladder down. Gonna put it here. We're gonna be able to get Sims to use both of these two beds. So let's just play test it before we make it look pretty. We can take um, our girl here and just, can she sleep in this bed? Yes, she can. Can she sleep in this one? Yes, she can, perfect. Okay, so basically now the only thing that we need to make sure is that this height of this wall here, so not the entire wall, but the wall that's left here is high enough for the sim to go up on. For example, it could be that um, this is not tall enough for an adult. So let's just go ahead and test it on one of our adults. He can actually do it because we made sure that this height is still tall enough. But that is one issue if you are not able to make it work. This could be something that you have to fix. So let's just, let's try to make it a little bit prettier because right now it's a, it's a bunk bed, but it's not a, it's not a pretty one. So what I find looks really nice is if you take two bookcases, it could, for example, be these ones from Tiny Living and one of them we can face, we can face uh, this way. So we can't actually see the books move the beds so that most of of these frames right here are covered so move that one back a little bit just see how much we can shift um, uh, put in the bookcase you're probably not going to be able to do a perfect job with every every bed, but you can make solutions kind of like adding a bedside table or anything like that to kind of hide the mistakes uh, that are going to be made, for example, here. So we can put in a bedside table on that side. And on the other side, maybe we could actually just place the bookcase this way. That could be, that could look really cool. And you just kind of adjust. Um, maybe you, you want the beds to go a little bit more this way. Or yeah, it's, you just have to play around with it. I think I will de I'm definitely looking forward to trying new different designs because I think there are so many possibilities for these 
uh, for how to, to create these bunk beds. You could also use something else than bookcases. You could use a dresser if there's one that fits really well. And yeah, just make sure that this wall height is high enough and make sure to also just play test it a little bit with your sims and you can make it look really great. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you try it out yourself and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials or also I have a lot of speed builds uh, if you enjoy watching those and I hope you have a great day. Bye!